Local veterinarians are feeling the effects of a nationwide COVID-19 pet boom. The problem is twofold. There's a shortage of vets and a surplus of pets. We are absolutely 100% in that boat. We are having to turn people down constantly because we just are, we were already growing exponentially before, you know, the COVID. And then once that hit, we doubled in size within a year. The owner of the Mason Veterinary Clinic said they are turning away 10 to 20 patients per day. When asked to interview, she said they are unable because they are just that busy. In fact, the number of new patients is so high that I couldn't find many practices that had a few minutes for an interview. I called 14 vets across our area who all said the same thing. They're swamped. The other problem is that a lot of um, vet clinics were struggling financially with the COVID and some of them actually closed their doors permanently. Dansville to be specific. Uh, well, there was a Dansville hospital that probably saw four to 5,000 patients that closed its doors uh, within the last six months. When COVID-19 first hit Michigan, pet owners prioritized quarantine over vet visits unless absolutely necessary. Yet, pet adoptions were at an all-time high. The American Pet Products Association estimated roughly 12.6 million households acquired a new pet last year after the pandemic began. I don't think people are aware that there's, there are, are a shortage of, of spots. I, I think, I think they, they, they call us saying, oh, can I come in tomorrow? And we're like, we can't get you in for three weeks. Are you crazy? TheraVet currently has more than 3,000 patients, with a typical patient range for one doctor being 2,000 to 3,000. Dr. Gail Wolf of Bennett Road Animal Clinic in Okemos said that in her 50 years of practice, she has never experienced anything like this before. A lot of people adopting pets and uh, a lot of people noticing things that are wrong with their pets because they're home and can watch them. Wolf said she can't remember the last time they had lunch. We don't schedule a time for lunch. We just go straight through and if we have a break, we grab something quick. We've never been this swamp before. Gil recommends clients looking for a veterinarian establish a relationship with their doctor right away. So they do have somewhere to go if their pet experiences an emergency. Reporting for Fox 47 News from your neighborhood in Mason, I'm Lauren Shields.